Chief of Defense Staff begs media houses not to cover and bad governance protests in Nigeria. He suggested that many protesters are merely seeking media attention. Okay, so this is the reason why they cut off network nationwide. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always stopping by. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The Nigerian Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Musa, has urged both international and local media to stop covering the nationwide aid bad governance in Nigeria. Protest over economic hardship under President Bola Tinubu's government. The CDS Musa made the appeal during a press briefing on Friday. For the media, I want to appeal. I noticed yesterday all the stations are cooked up to the occasion. This is not an election. Don't give them that coverage, Musa said. He suggested that many protesters are merely seeking media attention. Some of them protesters are looking for moment to be on the screen. Together, I can assure you we are going to win, he added. To call for a media blackout comes on the second day of demonstrations that have disrupted commercial activities across the country. Both local and international media have been reporting on the protests which have been which have seen thousands of Nigerians take to the streets over the worsening cause of living. The hunger protest is scheduled for first to tenth of August across the thirty six states of the Federation, including FCT. Okay. See waiting chief of Army Staff the Toko Chai. The army has really lost touch and taste. Someone just dropped that. He said they are winning. Who are they winning? Who are who are they? Who are those people winning? It's just like police and Nigerian army are against Nigerians. They don't join Nigerian government, they are against Nigerians. It would be a shame if the protests Peters are out without any concession from Tinubu's government. How? However, there is a sense that some idiots are using the protests as cover to loot and destroy state properties. That is criminal and that has always been the issue with protests in Nigeria. Meanwhile, we had some information yesterday at in Kano, uh, APC a leader, some APC leader, the sponsors the looting in Kano State. These people we identified, they understand. So most of these things is being sponsored against protesters to just call, this is just a means to call dog a bad name. You know, they started with don't protest, hoodlongs we take over. But what did we see? Who are the hoodlongs? The government imported hoodlongs who are protesting against the protesters, the genuine, the genuine protesters, who are now saying, don't end bad governance in Nigeria. Funny enough, these are still Nigerian youths. They give you 5,000 naira. You saw them sharing 5,000, 5, to say no protest. When we go get sense, then somebody will tell you, go and attack that place just to make sure they make the protest look like it's a criminal activity. All these are just the activities of the government. You understand? It is not fair. Protest is a fundamental right by the people. Why you don't allow people to protest? And this is started during APC government. President Mama Dubuari did it. Tunubu is still doing it. Is everywhere. You know, we say he's sending me the talk up. You didn't see him on social media. People who are countering the protest. You see people tell you, eh, I just won't collect the 5K. You will see, see them. When they don't collect the money, they will join protesters. It's, it's funny. It's funny. In the first place, that should not come in at all. Why do you just, why do you decide? 
why did you decide to import people to counter protesters who are genuinely protesting? Why? These are the things that is causing problems. All the Nigerian police just they tear gas people anyhow they like. All these things they they, they cause issues. All these things they like, they cause violence. We see Nigerian Nigerian police they fire live ammunition. Why? What is the purpose? What need? What is the need? Why would they do that in a peaceful protest? Why will you be firing a uh, life ammunition on peaceful protesters? Then a uh, Nigerian chief of army staff is saying they are winning. They don't buy Nigerians, so about 13 Nigerians were killed yesterday in Kano. You understand? He had also said that they will soon join the they will soon intervene in this protest so they are just looking for a way to make sure they continue their job you know what their job is make a drop on for you kindly drop your comments below the comment section don't forget to give us a thumbs up share this video let it go viral thank you and bye for now